Hi again. So uh, in this video we're going to look at how we can set up our template page. Now uh, I have provided some base files here for you. Uh, if I can just find them. Uh, if you go down to the description you should see a link to uh, to the zip file that contains this. Now there'll be the images folder which contains all the images that you need. Um, you know the background, the logo, um, and any images if you decide to um, follow later tutorials on uh, how to include images dynamically. Uh, but also it has a little original template PHP file and also the style sheet that obviously dictates the appearance. So um, when you open that up here in a browser this is what the, the template will look like right now. And in the code, and I'm going to be using Notepad++ here, this is what the code will look like. Now, um, just to, to make it easier, I guess, for you to, um, to maintain your site, it makes more sense rather than just creating one page like this with all the, the, the common content and then creating copies every time you want a new page. For example, if I was going to create my index page, I could go File and Save As. However, if I do that for all the pages in my site, and there will end up being about 25 of them, if I decide to change something, so say for example I decide that, um, and you can see here I've got my opening hours, if my opening hours change I would need to update all of those pages individually and then re-upload them to the server, which is um, fairly time consuming. Now it's great obviously if you're the web designer and you're charging by the hour, but uh, practically it's not a, not a particularly efficient solution. And also if you're uh, one of my students watching this video, uh, efficiency and elegance of your solution is very important in terms of your grade so definitely pay attention to this tutorial. So what we're going to look to do uh, is use a thing called a PHP include where we're going to take the common content, so anything that's common to all the pages in our site and we're going to put them in separate files. So for example when I look at this layout that secondary content is an obvious one that's going to be appearing in all of my pages so I'm going to put that in its in a single file uh, that's separate to my template and I'm going to include it which means it will, the code will be pulled down and displayed on this page but the advantage is that because on all my pages all of my pages on my site will be pulling down this content from another file if I want to change my opening hours all I have to do is change them on that included file so here's what we do, so I'll start with the secondary content we'll do it to some other stuff in a moment in through my code here you can see where I've got my secondary content um, class here. I'm actually going to select that all the way down to end of secondary content. And I'm just going to cut that. Now I'm just going to create a new page and paste it in. And I'm going to save that in the correct folder, where am I going here? It'll be in the same folder as my template, but I'm going to call this one. Oh, great, there's PHP in this massive long list. There we go. I'm going to call this one something that makes a little bit of sense, like sec content for short for secondary content, and I'll save that in there. Now, on my original template, though, what I'm going to do is open up a PHP tag where the uh, secondary content was actually sitting and inside that PHP tag I'm going to use this command called include and then in brackets and speech marks I'm going to put the name of the file that I want to include like so and don't forget to close your speech marks close the bracket and obviously end every line with a semicolon so if I save this and go back to my browser and test it, it should look exactly the same because this code is now being pulled down and included on this page as if it is one page still. However, it's actually been pulled down from this other page called Seek Content. So straight away we've made a site more efficient, much easier to maintain. Now I'm also going to do the same for the header. I think. Uh, that would be a good idea because you never know how you're going to change. You could change the look and feel of that header. So I'm actually going to go ahead and grab the entire header section, and I'll just repeat the process. I'm going to cut it. 
I'm going to create a brand new page, paste it in. I'm going to save it into the correct folder as a PHP page. And I'm going to save this one as header.php. Back on my template, I am once again opening up a PHP tag and I'm using my include and inside the brackets and the speech marks header.php. So once again I'll save that if we just duck back to the template and refresh. There it is. So uh, now we have two included files and the advantage of this is that say our opening hours do change I can just go to my sec content and say you know what we're actually going to be open till 7 o'clock now. Save that and back here now when I refresh this it will update. Um, let's just check that one if I don't. Oh there we go, 7 o'clock. So yep, so it's updating and working. So this, um, like I said, makes maintaining the site very, very easy. So that's what I'm really going to look at today. Um, this one, our next step is going to be um, connecting up to the database. So we'll need to set up a database, a MySQL database. Um, we're going to insert some tables and some information into them. And then we're going to connect this page up to that template and start pulling some information down into our header. So we'll put some links right there. See you next time.